Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you so much for the love and support on part 1. Over 35,000 views, 500 likes, I did not expect that at all. So I appreciate, thank you so much. So in part 2, I'll be showcasing some screenshots, comparing the new courts, the venues, the presentation, the atmosphere, and then the fusion. I'll be combining both games together. I'll also be putting some timestamps in the description. So part 1 is screenshots. We're gonna with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. And then NBA Live, Kevin Durant, twice. You know who I am. Man, if NBA Live makes a game for next gen, it's gonna be amazing. I could already tell. Like, Live 19 had so much potential to become better. So just looking at this, comparing it side by side, makes me excited for the future. And Trey Young looks really good on Live. For next gen, he looks like Trey Old. <laughs> Oh man, I just had to say that. But truly, that screenshot for next gen Trey Young doesn't look too real. This is Steph Curry. The comparison is not too good because that picture I got is not full screen. I couldn't get it full screen, I couldn't find it, but it's better than nothing. Now we got Luka Doncic, next gen, and NBA Live. This is gonna be the last screenshot before we move on to part two. Part two. We will be comparing the new courts and venues that NBA 2K21 Next Gen has been showcasing in their trailers. Just today, they posted this tweet with T Mac in a new court. So, T Mac got a nice face scan. The quality is not too good because it was just a GIF or a GIF. I'm not sure how people say it. But as you can see, this is Next Gen because there's a new court, there's a new alley oop animation, there's new passing. So there's a lot of things going on in this one short clip that they played. Now we're moving on to the women's basketball trailer. Can't wait to make my 5-1 pole scorer. <laughs> or the two-way stepsister. <laughs> Just kidding. The most important part that I wanted to compare is the new court that they're showcasing here. So that's why I fast forwarded the beginning. Now we're going on to NBA Live. You cannot forget this trailer that they released when they were advertising where you could play around the world. So this feature is really, really awesome on NBA Live, mainly because the servers work, no lag, you always stable connection, there's always, um, you know, whenever I go on live, there's no problems. Question is, NBA 2K, they're saying that you'll be able to play in Asia, but who knows how the servers will be, the delay and everything. Anyways, the point is just comparing them side by side. These ideas look very, very similar. And I will be putting them side by side in a few moments and you'll be able to see that these courts that Next Gen is coming out with for NBA 2K21 really, really resembles NBA Live. And I was looking at comments on each video, on the Next Gen videos, and people were saying that it looks like NBA Live remastered <laughs> so these comments i've been reading a lot of comments and it's i agree with a lot of them especially on part one a lot of the comments you guys posted i agree 100 percent uh obviously there's some disagreement with some people you can't make everyone happy so some people were saying it's a poor comparison some people were saying it's a great comparison but you can't please everyone in this world now we're going on to the presentation we're gonna go to um Next gen first. It's really hard to compare because Mike Wang and the other developer was talking over the, uh, how do you say this, <laughs> over the original audio. So it's hard to really compare side by side. But one thing I noticed is that the next gen intro is so long. Like it's almost two minutes long. <laughs> and they were talking about new animations, but this is still here. Two players bobbling robotically side by side, and this has been a problem in 2K for a while. But yes, like I was saying, the intro for NBA 2K21 is so long, it's about two minutes long. I swear I had to buy a new controller because I pressed X so much on NBA 2K to skip all these cutscenes. I had to keep spamming X, it was annoying, I had to get a new controller. And when I go on to NBA Live, you'll notice that I'm not going to press X once, and it's only about 30 seconds. Raw gameplay. 
It is NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. From Smoothie King Center in downtown New Orleans. Tonight, it's the New Orleans Pelicans. Play host to the Golden State Warriors. Now we're going to put them side by side. I didn't talk for the NBA Live 19 intro so that you could actually hear how it sounds for those who haven't played live. And I also fast forwarded NBA 2K's uh, presentation so it could match with the NBA Live. So I fast forwarded to the Steph Curry part. I try to make it match as much as possible. And NBA Live usually has the ESPN music. It's really, really a nice presentation. Makes you feel like you're actually in the game, makes you hype. If you heard the ESPN music in the NBA playoffs, then it's really, really good. For part four, I'll be comparing the crowd reactions for the made baskets by Steph Curry and Zion Williamson. We talked about Eric, and when we were watching some of the games in the bubble, uh, they were showing this camera, or this camera view from the, from the floor. Zion Williamson with the three. Now I will be fusing both games, the audio from NBA Live with the gameplay from 2K21. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Probably hearing um, a new announcing crew actually going on right now. Uh, we actually have a complete, you know, second commentary team into the game this year. So Ooh. whenever you're, that was, that was that was awesome. um, so whenever you're playing the game, you can get one of two actual commentary crews, and this one's headed by Brian. Andrew. Throws it down off the alley oop pass, and Ed, not every pass needs to be a home run pass. down the slam ah oh, jay no question there's an unspoken bond there one thing i want to point out is how the whole arena gets up on their feet for this monster dunk the atmosphere on live is really amazing especially when you go on big runs the crowd gets even louder so it's really really amazing so this will be the last fusion of the video but before i fuse them together I just want you guys to drop a like, drop a subscribe, drop a bell notification if you guys are enjoying it. I really appreciate the love. It really means so much for me to make these videos. And yes, I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me. So let's get into it. Throws it down off the alley-oop pass. And Ed, not every pass needs to be a home run pass. Or down the slam ah oh, jay no question there's an unspoken bond there thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed please be sure to share and like this video to stay updated click subscribe and also follow g flash on twitter